formal English versus informal English. Round three. Fight! Hello, my name is Maddie from Piece of Cake English, and in this lesson, we're going to learn 15 formal alternatives to less formal English words. And we are going to do this through two stories. Are you ready? Let's start with the first story. Jason works in a company as a data analyst. He checks the final numbers and statistics. And he loves his job. Okay? But recently, he's always been sick and his boss isn't happy. So, the company ended his contract and now he is looking for a new job. This story is not completely formal. It's semi-formal. We want to make it more formal, but how? We need to find some alternatives to less formal words. And now let's start with word number one. Instead of check, you can say verify. Verify. For example, these numbers are surprisingly high and they will have to be checked. These numbers are surprisingly high and they will have to be checked. Perhaps something is wrong. Instead of check, say verify. These numbers are surprisingly high and they will have to be verified. It means we have to check to see if we have made a mistake, right? Or here's another example. The result of the research needs to be checked by experts. The result of the research needs to be checked by experts. It means an expert has to check it to see if the results are correct, if they are valid. Instead of check, say verify. The result of the research needs to be verified by an expert. It's more formal. Number two, instead of job, say occupation. Have you noticed when you want to fill in a form, instead of job, you see occupation. It's like name, last name, age, nationality, occupation, not job. Occupation is more formal compared to job. For example, he returned to his previous job as a teacher. He returned to his previous job as a teacher. Make it more formal by saying occupation. He returned to his previous occupation as a teacher. It sounds more formal, right? Or here's another example. His main job is property development. His main job is property development. He's a property developer. Now, instead of job, say occupation, his main occupation is property development. More formal. Number three, instead of sick, if you are not feeling well, say unwell. That's more formal. For example, if you feel sick, tell the teacher. If you feel sick, tell the teacher. Instead of sick, say unwell. If you feel unwell, tell the teacher. That's more formal. Or one more example. You look sick. Why don't you go to the doctor? You look sick. Why don't you go to the doctor? Instead of sick, say unwell. You look unwell. Why don't you go to the doctor? This is more formal, right? Number four. Instead of happy, you can say satisfied. Satisfied. For example, are you happy with the new arrangement? Are you happy with the new arrangement? Instead of happy, say satisfied. Are you satisfied with the new arrangement? That's more formal. Or here's another example. Her teacher seems happy with her progress. Her teacher seems happy with her progress. Instead of happy, say satisfied. Her teacher seems satisfied with her progress. Number five, instead of so, you can say therefore. 
Therefore is more formal version of so. For example, we were unable to pay the rent and so we had to find another place to stay. We were unable to pay the rent. So we had to look for another place to stay. Now, instead of so, say therefore. We were unable to pay the rent. Therefore, we had to look for another place to stay. Or one more example. We didn't have much time, so we left early. We didn't have much time, so we left early. Instead of so, say therefore, and that's more formal. We didn't have much time, therefore, we left early. Number six. Instead of end, say terminate. Terminate. That sounds really formal, right? For example, they ended my contract in October. They ended my contract in October. Say, they terminated my contract in October. That sounds really formal and fancy. Or one more example. She was trying to end the conversation. She was trying to end the conversation. Say it. She was trying to terminate the conversation. That's really formal. And number seven, instead of look for, which means to search for something, you can say seek. Seek is more formal than look for or search. And one more thing, one general thing, phrasal verbs in general are considered informal. So seek is formal and look for is informal. Now let's have a look at a few examples. Are you looking for a new job? Are you looking for a new job? Instead of look for, say seek. Are you seeking a new job? Are you seeking a new job? Or one more example. We are looking for a place to stay. We're looking for a place to stay. Say it. We are seeking a place to stay. Instead of look for, you say seek. And now. Let's use the new vocabulary we have learned, the formal ones, and rewrite the story and try to make it more formal. Ready? Let's have a look. Jason works in a company as a data analyst. He checks the final numbers and statistics. He verifies the final numbers and statistics. And he loves his job. He loves his Occupation. Excellent. But recently, he has always been sick. Sick or unwell. He has always been unwell and his boss isn't happy. His boss isn't satisfied. Excellent. So, therefore, therefore, the company ended his contract or terminated his contract. Bravo. And now he's looking for a new job. He is seeking a new job. Excellent. This story is now more formal. As I said earlier in my previous videos, there is no better option between formal or informal. Both of them are okay. It's not that formal is better than informal English. No, there is no fight. But it depends on your target audience. Who are you talking to? Who are you writing for? That's very important. If you're writing for your boss, if you're talking to your boss or your professor, you need to be formal. If you're talking casually with your friends, be informal. It is weird to be formal when you're with your best friends. Okay? So there is no better option. Now, it is time to have a look at another story and learn some more formal alternatives to less formal words. But before that, if you want to receive the lesson summary of this video and every other videos when I post them on YouTube, you have to give me your email address and that is for free. How? Go to my website, pocenglish.com. The link is in the description down below. Click on the link. Go to my website, type in your email address and click subscribe. You will receive the emails for free. And now time for the second story. Are you ready? Let's have a look. 
Jessica is Jack's girlfriend. They have decided to choose a building as their future house. Jack has chosen an old building and Jessica thinks Jack is stupid and buying the old house is a wrong decision. Jack says that they don't have enough money to buy a better one and that Jessica's behavior is having a bad effect on their relationship. So there is an argument going on between Jack and Jessica. Do you think Jack is right or Jessica is right? Well, that's not the point of this video. The point is to learn some formal vocabulary. So let's learn some alternatives and try to make this text more formal. Instead of girlfriend or boyfriend, say partner. That's more formal, partner. For example, she broke up with her boyfriend. She broke up with her partner. That's more formal. Or one more example, he lives with his girlfriend. He lives with his partner, exactly. He lives with his partner, that is more formal. So instead of girlfriend or boyfriend, say partner. Instead of choose, say select. That's more formal. For example, there were three options and we could choose one. There were three options, one, two, three, and we could choose one. There were three options and we could select one. That is more formal. Or here's another example. There are 32 flavors of ice cream and you can choose whichever you like. There are 32 flavors of ice cream, mango, strawberry, pistachio, uh, cocoa, and you can choose whichever you like or you can select whichever you like. That's more formal. Instead of stupid, which is a bad word, it's a curse word if you say someone's stupid, you're stupid, he's stupid, this is bad. It's not only informal, it's also offensive. Instead of stupid, say ignorant. Ignorant, it's more formal, it's still offensive, but it's less offensive than stupid. For example, some people are too stupid to realize what's bad for them. Some people are too stupid to realize what's bad for them. You can say, some people are too ignorant to realize what's bad for them. It's less offensive and more formal. Or one more example, she was really stupid to quit her job. She was really stupid to quit her job. Or she was really ignorant to quit her job. Or you can also make it more formal by saying, it was ignorant of her to quit her job. This is the most formal, but the structure is a bit difficult. It's better for advanced students. Instead of buy, say purchase. Purchase, this is more formal than buy. For example, you must buy the tickets two weeks in advance. You must buy the tickets two weeks in advance. You must purchase the tickets two weeks in advance. That's more formal. What does in advance mean? In advance means before. For example, if an event is on 14th of October, you should buy the tickets until the 1st of October, two weeks in advance, two weeks before the deadline, two weeks before the event. Or here's another example. She bought her first house yesterday. She bought her first house yesterday. Now, bought is the past of buy. If you want to replace it with purchase, you need to use the past tense of purchase, which is purchased. So here's the formal sentence. She purchased her first house yesterday. She purchased her first house yesterday. Instead of wrong, you can say incorrect. Incorrect. This is more formal than wrong. For example, her answer to the question was wrong. Her answer to the question was incorrect. Or one more example, the information on the website was wrong. The information on 
the website was incorrect. One tip, information is always uncountable. You cannot say informations. No, 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 no. It's always information, singular. Information is, information was. Instead of enough, you can say sufficient. Sufficient. For example, the food should be enough for five people. The food should be sufficient for five people. Or here's another example. Did you have enough time to finish your assignments? Did you have enough time to finish your assignments? You can say, did you have sufficient time to finish your assignment? Instead of behavior, you can say attitude. Attitude. For example, it is often very difficult to change people's behaviors. It is often very difficult to change people's behaviors. It is often very difficult to change people's attitudes. Or, I don't like your behavior. I don't like your behavior. I don't like your attitude. And finally, instead of bad, say negative. Negative. For example, too much fat has a bad effect on your body. Too much fat has a bad effect on your body. You can say too much fat has a negative effect on your body. You can also use it as an adverb negatively instead of badly. For example, too much fat can badly affect your body. Too much fat can negatively affect your body. And now let's try to rewrite the story this time in a more formal way using the new alternatives we have learned. Are you ready? Before we start, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, click subscribe. Jessica is Jack's girlfriend? Partner. Jessica is Jack's partner. They have decided to choose, select a building as their future house. Jack has chosen, selected, right? Jack has selected an old building and Jessica thinks Jack is stupid, ignorant. Jessica thinks Jack is ignorant. And buying the old house is a wrong decision. Buying the old house or purchasing the old house is a wrong decision or is an incorrect decision. That's right. Jack says that they don't have enough money, sufficient money, they don't have sufficient money to buy to purchase, to purchase a better one. And that Jessica's behavior, attitude, Jessica's attitude is having a bad effect, a negative effect on their relationship. And that's it, a more formal text. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to practice. See you.